the kinematic body 2D. The child of the physics body 2D, which signifies that it can affect and also be affected by other physics bodies, such as the rigid body 2D and the static body 2D. One notable feature is that it can only be moved through code, unlike the rigid body 2D, which can be moved through physics or gravity. To use the kinematic body 2D node, we make a new scene and add it as a root node, and as a child, we add collision shape and sprite to it. Then you add your desired texture to the sprite and change the shape to whichever shape you want. Then we add the script to the root node. And inside there, first off, we make a variable called move and set it to a vector 2 with 300 on the x and 0 on the y. Then on the physics process function, we use the move and slide and pass move in as a parameter to move the object. And when we run it, the object moves endlessly to the right. The move and slide accepts another parameter, which is a vector 2, and it signifies where the wall is located, either up, down, left, or right, according to the structure of the vector. Apart from the move and slide function, you can also use the move and collide function, which will be able to assess the objects you are colliding with. To do that, we'll check if there's a collision. Then we'll print the position of the collision and the velocity of the object colliding. If we run this, we can see that the object it's colliding with has a velocity of 0, that's why it returns a 0, 0. And here is the position that the collision occurred. Lastly, to move the object to the keyboard, we set the move.x and move.y variables to be the difference of our input keys. Then we multiply the move vector by 300 as the speed. Then we call the move and slide function. And now if we run it, we can control the kinematic body with our keyboard. And that has been kinematic body 2D in 100 seconds.